Hi students, welcome back once again to the digital classroom. Now on what's the episodes, I'm going to explain uh, CEC first year accounts subject uh, each to each or uh, each and every point I'm going to revise now. So for the purpose of uh, uh, examination uh, and uh, the sincere candidates, uh, sincere students can be heard or channel and uh, no more uh, no more com uh, uh, i don't want to uh, comment uh, badly on my the uh, what we call the bad to be deleted if you don't suppose that is the criteria right now we are going to explain you first year CEC accounts subject in revision right in brief and uh, main main problems i can tell you now right and uh, here we have here we have the uh, topics chapter 1 consisting of bookkeeping and accounting so after this uh, chapter 2 consisting of uh, accounting principles and uh, chapter 3 double entry and uh, bookkeeping system and uh, chapter 4 consisting of uh, general entries and uh, chapter 5 consisting of uh, ledgers and uh, now chapter 6 consisting of uh, substitute books after this after this i am going to explain about uh, the general proper general proper and after this uh, cash book so in this cash book uh, you can have the single column cash book double column cash book triple column cash book and petty cash book like that and after that uh, brs brs is a choice one i am not going to explain you brs of course if you need uh, just you comment me i can fetch you the problems of uh, brs also uh, next is the trial balance i am going to explain you uh, next is the rectification of errors and the last one is uh, final accounts with the uh, adjustments right now i start from journal entries from this chapter i am going to explain you so how to pass entries and how will be the pro forma and some illustrations i am going to giving you okay so directly we can go to 23rd page yes so this is the this is the model of uh, what we call journal and this is the pro forma of uh, journal entries the pro forma of journal entries is as follows as you know already you have practiced this is the date column this is the particulars column this is the ledger folio means uh, lf column and debit rupees and credit rupees in this form we have to uh, prepare the journal entries so date column consisting of uh, dates on which date it was occurred uh, on which date uh, it was uh, happened particulars so the entries can be posted in this ledger folio number no need to maintain but uh, one two three four must be uh, written actually but no need to re, uh, no need no re, uh, uh, no need to write uh, one two three four now and debit rupees and credit rupees so after this uh, Illustrations. So some illustrations have been given, and uh, from this, uh, actually, from the chapter, they will ask you the uh, two marks problems. Two marks problems they can ask you. See, fifth onwards it is. Follow the fifth problem here. See, generalize the following transactions. Generalize the following transaction. How can we generalize? Just you see, uh, Dinesh has started business with rupees uh, fifty thousand. Fifty thousand, and after that, on second date, cash sales ten thousand. On fourth, the purchases fifteen thousand, sold plant and machinery five thousand, and uh, cash paid to Rahim three thousand, 
and 14 salaries paid 8000 so this is a problem so let's see will be um, you will be asked in your uh, an examination and you have to do the problem for two marks so generally the following transactions is the question suppose if you are asked uh, okay first transaction in a date column you have to write like this so 2014 april first so before this you have to pass the heading okay journals in the books of dinesh as on april 1st 2014 like this you have to write right now how you have to pass the entries see here i will show you dinesh started business so by starting the business what you are getting so you are getting a cash cash is coming inside so cash account debited to capital account so capital account must be created capital always create so what is coming inside is a cash cash is coming inside if you start the business here here dinesh started business with the cash rupees of 15 000, 50 000 so that the pass will be the journal will be cash to capital account being business started 50 000 50 000 independent credit columns see next is cash sales by selling the goods what we are getting is a cash so cash is coming inside so what comes in is debit so here what comes in here is a cash only cash account debit to sales account sales are always a credit or goods account cash account debit to sales account or cash account debit to goods account like this you have to pass what was the narration you have to so being cash sales being goods sold on cash 10,000 and 10,000 after that purchases on fourth date purchases what we are getting by purchasing means goods are coming inside of course goods nothing but the purchases you can write goods or purchases in debit right purchases account debit to cash account cash is going outside and what we are getting inside is goods so goods account or purchase account debit to cash account 15,000 15,000 right Next is a sold plant and machinery for 5,000 rupees. So we are selling this. We are selling out. So by selling out, what we are getting? So ultimately we can get uh, the cash. So what is coming inside is a cash account is coming inside. Cash account debit to plant and machinery. What is going outside is plant and machinery is going outside. We are selling, uh, we are selling out so that we are sending out. So what is coming inside is a cash account. Cash account debit to plant and machinery. 5,000, 5,000. After this, cash paid to Rahim. 3,000. So who is the receiver here? Receiver must be debited. Rahim. Rahim is the receiver. So Rahim account debit to cash account. What is going outside by paying means that cash is going outside. So Rahim account debit to cash account. Uh, 3000 3000 and what was the narration is uh, being cash paid to rahim and next one is uh, salaries uh, paid what we are paying is expenditure all expenditures and losses are always debit so that is a formula that is a uh, principle so salaries we are paying out so that the salaries account is debited to cash account so in the in the shape of uh, in the form of salaries what we're going outside is uh, cash is going outside so that salaries account debited to cash account so like this you have to pass the entries in the books of uh, so and so candidate uh, you will be asked this uh, for two marks right so i am saying you for two marks uh, they will ask you the question like this okay after this you have to prepare one more Suppose if you go to the ledger account, what is meant by ledger? So separating of uh, separating of different different accounts, uh, posting of different different accounts in different different uh, forms of accounts that is called ledger. Ledger is nothing but a book, uh, a book which consisting of the accounts, different types of accounts, real accounts, it may be nominal account, it may be uh, personal accounts, right? So all these accounts should be in kept in prepared in ledger. So that is the ledger. If you ask her the question, what is meant by what is meant by ledger? That you can write what I said. Okay. 
for uh, repeat uh, a repeat uh, a repeating of my uh, definition you can go back after this class and you can watch right so now ledger how can you prepare the ledgers simply if we prepare suppose cash account cash account ledger must be cash ledger must be prepared suppose you are prepared salaries salaries ledger must be prepared like that so for each and every transaction for each and every account it should be prepared so ledger must be uh, prepared in the accounts right so suppose you paid the rent no so rent account must be or uh, rent account or rent ledger must be prepared suppose salaries you paid salaries account or salaries ledger you can prepare okay what is the uh, advantage of uh, this uh, ledger ledger means uh, what was happened actually so we can uh, know to that uh, expenditure by going to the direct account suppose capital account you want to see directly go to the ledger of capital and then you can watch how much ledger, uh, how much capital is there how much uh, assets are there how much expenditures are there how many uh, uh, how much so like this so this is called a ledger ledger cannot be prepared in your main examination okay so that what i said ledger ledger is only understanding purpose in your uh, accounts so no need to prepare uh, ledger specify, um, specifically so if you want to prepare suppose ramesh account ramesh ledger you have to prepare and if you want to prepare suppose salaries account salaries ledger must be prepared like that that is the second uh, next chapter that is okay and go to the uh, okay go to the example of this one i can uh, i can say you from this ledger some particular account be asked of course sir, what i said uh, suppose uh, morally account to be prepared if uh, we are going to prepare morally account what are the transactions which are related to him that transactions only have to post in this okay more than suppose not other than suppose like what you call suppose just you are preparing to a prasad account prasad transactions only should be posted in this ledger uh, that's it okay like that and one more is uh, prepare pavan account from the followings for example i am saying you ledger problem how it will be okay i can show you now just watch it see uh, prepare pavan account uh, from the following details uh, okay only pavan account now goods purchased from pavan it should be taken cash paid to pavan it should be taken goods written to pavan it should be taken paid to pavan by check it should be taken discount allowed by pavan it should be taken goods purchased from pavan for cash it won't come why because there is no word of uh, uh, what you call it see goods purchased from pavan for cash cash transactions you should not you should not take into this uh, uh, ledger next is the furniture purchased from pavan it will come now from this transactions from this uh, problem you have to prepare only pavan account like this uh, some settlement uh, uh, settlement accounts should be prepared for five marks prepare so and so account raw and co account so i already gave you so many uh, settlement uh, accounts uh, in my channel just you can watch them so i am going for the ledger of towards what substitute books okay how many substitute books are there so totally uh, eight substitute books are there purchase book purchase returns book sales book sales returns book cash book bills receivables book bills payables book and journal proper so the last one you see journal proper it will ask for five marks you have to concentrate on this one of course uh, this substitute books also will carry you uh, two marks or five marks prepare purchase account 
it will be asked for you for 5 marks prepare sales account it will be asked for you for 5 marks or journal proper journal proper nothing but the settlement accounts what i call so this is subset books it will get you it will fetch you 5 plus 5 10 marks what i'm saying is and purchase book already you know no like this purchase book i will show you now purchase books like this see purchase book first column is the date column next one is the particulars next one is invoice next is lf number next is amount rupees like this date column and which date it was this column but from which 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 person that you have to write and invoice number one two three four serial numbers how many transactions you can record that uh, that much of numbers serial numbers you can record over there and amount rupees it is uh, amount rupees it is uh, 20,000 here so this is a model of a purchase book and uh, some other books will be there like this so I will show you I will show you in the examination models after this uh, purchase returns books also so Purchase book returns uh, like this, the table as you know, date column, particulars column, debit note here, next is LF, next is amount rupees. Here in purchases we wrote uh, invoice number here actually, in purchase returns you can write uh, debit note here, instead of invoice number, it will be changed, okay. In the same way, sales book also sales book also looks like this date column particulars column outwards inwards invoice lf or amount to this and uh, sales returns how it will be sales returns here you can see date column particulars credit note now if it is a purchase returns debit note you wrote now this is sales returns book now so credit note you have to write and after this uh, a lift ledger folio number and is the uh, amount so like this uh, sales returns books you have to prepare right after this bills receivables will be there and bills payables will be there okay like that you have to wrote uh, all those and i will show you now come to the journal proper in this uh, journal proper we can prepare particular account yes it will be asked for two marks not the five marks i will show you an example Opening entries and closing entries must be prepared in this chapter. See, opening entries can be prepared, requisition of errors can be prepared here, adjustments entries can be prepared here, and closing entries. Now, opening entries can be asked for two marks. See here. Record the opening entry from the following particulars as on 1st April 2013. If you assume that this is the problem. Now, some account should be debited, some account should be created. By balancing that, you can get the capital account. Cash in hand is debit balance, so cash account means a cash in hand debit machinery account debit stock account debit sunday debited credit furniture account debit debit to to sunday creditors to bills payables and uh, if you balance the debit and the credit columns uh, then you can get the capital account so 45000 this is opening entry 
this will be asked in notes a main examination for two marks i can show you now itself here is the problem right here is it cash account debit in debit they have posted stock account debit posted in debit furniture account debit posted in debit machinery account debit in debit and two credits now in credit to bank OD in credit and the difference between these and these two is here 45,000 so you have to you have to follow the you have to write the uh, what you call the narration being the opening entry for the above assets and liabilities some assets and liabilities can be given and you have to set them in a debit columns and in credit columns and the difference between debit and credit columns so you can get the capital so opening capital this is this is called a journal proper it will be asked for two marks right after this general proper afterwards you have to go the cash book in cash book simple cash book will be there double column cash book will be there triple column cash book will be there and petty cash book will be there so here petty cash book can be asked for two marks and triple column cash book asked for 10 marks right right see suppose you are going to prepare the suppose you are going to prepare the single column cash book no need of preparing this but uh, for uh, understanding i am saying you right so enter the following transactions in a single column cash book so cash in hand purchased furniture sold goods received received cash from money paid rent interest received cash paid to hurry sold old machinery deposited in bank purchased goods from suri and a drawings so only cash transaction should be taken into the problem and you leave the credit transactions see here this is the credit transaction how can i say there is no word of cash purchased goods from suri on cash no it is not on cash the person name have given and purchases have given so that it won't come to the problem it is not cash transaction so that we should not take into the problem drawings we have to post in credit site deposit in bank okay deposit in bank so bank account in credit site sold so old machinery we are selling out so what is coming inside cash is coming inside so you have to post in debit side cash paid to hurry so by hurry interest received you are receiving right so interest in the name of interest you can write next is paid rent you have to post this in a credit side received cash from morally to morally how to write sold goods sold goods to sales are two goods you can write okay next uh, purchased furniture you are purchasing you are purchasing the furniture you are getting it so by paying the amount so it will comes in credit side cash in hand opening balance so like that what i said this is the problem they have done it is single cash book single column cash book is nothing but single column cash book is nothing but payments and receipts account this is payment side this is a sorry this is payment side this is receipt side if you receive the money you have to write here if you pay the money you have to write this here okay this is a single column cash book so after this you have to go for the triple column cash book what i'm saying is triple column cash book is very important it will be asking you an examination for 10 marks okay and no need for no need to do this uh, single column and double column cash books in the main examination of course you can do that i will show you here in triple column cash book you have to face the contra entries 
contrast means ex, uh, opposite if you post a transaction in a debit side you have to post the same with the same figure in credit side if you post it in a credit side you have to post the same on the same date with the same figure in a debit side vice versa like right so here i will show you an example prepare triple column cash book for the following transactions cash in hand cash at bank in debit side you have to post these two two balance brought down to bdc in the cash account you have to write you know, 4900 in bank account you have to write 5000 in debit side cash sales 9800 okay two sales in cash column you have to write 9800 deposit into bank now this is contra entry when cash was deposited into bank it is contra entry deposit into bank no so two cash in bank account in debit side so buy bank in cash account in credit side opposite side in the on the same date on the vice versa type this is contra entry this is contra entry remember this receive a check from ragu so check is nothing but bank you have to write so to ragu in check is nothing but bank column bank you have to write 2500 paid cash to mohan discount receipt so you are paying to mohan no by mohan uh, 1600 and in discount column 400 ragu check a deposit into bank on which date 14th we received it in 12th but uh, deposit in bank in 14th now this is contra entry right opposite to this one here is a deposit date, and this also deposit date. now on the separate date on the next date on the following date here is the 12th here is the 14th this was once again you see as you treat as uh, contra entry so uh, two cash in bank column in debit side buy bank in cash column in credit side the same amount okay 1600 on the same date next commission received all receipts comes under the debit side two commission in cash column right uh, 500 received from case of discount allowed so two cash of in amount column in cash column 4700 discount column 300 next withdrawn from bank for offices this is contra entry now we are getting cash okay so to bank to bank in cash account you have to write and here by cash in bank column you have to write in credit side like that this is the contra entry 24th transaction paid to basket so all payments comes to the credit side by basket in uh, amount column 2000 discount column 100 next is telephone bill paid by telephone in cash column 600 salary is paid by check check is nothing but bank now in credit side salaries you pay okay salaries you write in credit side and you post the amount 1200 in check check means bank column right this is the duration of that problem so he done like this what is it okay to balance brought down cash account and bank account 4900 to 5000 next is sales to cash this is contra entry c for contra entry in lf column you have to show like this c c for contra entry so to cash you wrote here and in bank column you wrote here on the seventh day you come to see here also in that seventh day by bank you can post in uh, cash column so lf is c like this so this is contra entry here and here contra entry next is ragu you received from ragu no 2500 next is cash okay 2500 Why? because here you are getting the check check of course here what is this means a contra entry you have received a check from ragu no on 10th you have received but it was posted in 14th on the next day on the next day 
to deposit into ca uh, cash deposit into bank account so that it is a contra entry so bank account debit to cash in bank account in c in lf contra entry in the same date 14 here also come to the 14th date and by bank you post in opposite column means uh, 2500 in cash column and here is a c contra entry like this next is commission received you post in debit uh, in cash column and next to cash out you receive the cash from cash out 4700 and uh, allowed discount is 300 you post here in uh, 300 next is a contra entry cash withdrawn from bank for office use office use if you draw withdrawn from bank for personal use that is called drawing sir but here for offices they have drawn that so that this is a contra entry now bank account 12 24th in bank account you write here and you post in now cash account cash column so contra entry next to 24th you also you can write here so cash by cash and in bank account 2000 and c here c for contra entry on the same date after this uh, bank account all like this okay telephone expenditures and basket paid salaries paid like okay and after that you can balance like this balance carry down what is the highest total so highest total of this one highest total of this one you see so the debit balance is higher than this so that the debit balance is 24400 and they posted here also and here and here right here and here and uh, if you calculate all this and uh, deduct from this and you can get this amount this is cash and here also bank account also you just you total the three and you can you can get uh, 10,500 and you also post in 10,500 and you deduct uh, these two items from this and you can get uh, balance carried down some 300 and no need to balance the discount column just you post how much it is as it is 300 and here is 500 Katam. this is the duration of uh, cash account right now in the forthcoming uh, sessions, I am going to explain the remaining uh, uh, problems in the so on a paper I can write right. So if you like this, just subscribe or share or comment your sub opinion. And this is for first year and for second years also I am going to prepare the episode. So be strengthened, be confident about your uh, success that you can pass with good marks with the help of me and with the help of your uh, lecturers too of course uh, besides me and besides your lecturers and uh, there are your parents they are helping you they are serving you they are uh, educating you you have to salute to them right you have to love to them thank you for watching students and please subscribe and if you don't uh, understood suppose go back to the uh, first and just to see in sequence then you can understood my classes right thanks for watching students please subscribe all the best